today we are spending nine days road tripping from Phoenix up to Colorado and then to Utah and we're hitting a whole bunch of national parks so we're already at the forest park we are here at the petrified forest national park which we are about to go drive through we're so excited to be here this is not our first time in Arizona we have been to the Grand Canyon but this will be the first time kind of doing area. yeah this area of Arizona so it's so exciting to be here it's beautiful like 70 degrees sunshine and yeah I mean we can't it's ask perfect. for a better day we're excited to get started here on our road trip so in this vlog we'll be seeing the petrified forest we're heading to Sedona and Page Arizona and then I might blend in when we go to Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado too I'm not sure but anyways so that is where we're exploring here in Arizona so I'm ready to get started Go. <laughs> to petrified forest and we landed in Phoenix we were gonna get an SUV, but hubby decided to upgrade to a Camaro. <laughs> so here is our ride. It's a lot of fun. We're trying to figure out how to put the top down as we drive through the park here. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're figuring out there's something we have to do to it to make it go down. And so we're figuring that out, but it's a cute little thing. Got the top down. Literally took us like 20 minutes to figure this out. There's things in the trunk you have to like take down and then we had to move our luggage to the inside. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> we got this, you guys. We're just, having, there's a wasp on the water. It's right by your hand. Uh. <laughs> um, shoo. shoo wasp. <laughs> Anyways, let's get going. So one thing we did for this trip was we bought an annual national park pass. You can buy them online. They're $85. And this is like the best way if you're visiting multiple parks um, is just buy the annual pass and then you can use it for a whole year and go to as many parks as you want. So we have a lot of parks coming up. <laughs> and then every time you want to use the pass, you just put it up here on your rear view mirror. It just hangs like that. And that's your annual national park pass that you can use throughout the whole United States. All right, you guys, so here is petrified wood. It almost looks like an agate. That's what it looks like. Maybe that is what agates are. Maybe that is. Oh, this is definitely looks like agates. You guys being here at Petrified Forest reminds us so much of the Badlands yeah. in like North and South Dakota. It's like very similar, but it's like different at the same time. I don't know, it's weird. It's really cool though. Except Badlands doesn't have a petrified wood here. It's really cool. So this area we're in right now is called the Crystal Forest. So I was showing you on the wood, it looked crystallized like agates. This wood has been here for like hundreds of millions of years. It's crazy. Pretty cool to see. This is how the Camaro goes. <laughs> oh my gosh, red wine and the Camaro. If I make it through this trip alive, I don't even know. <laughs> We're not getting one of these. We're not getting one of these. You'll kill yourself. Oh no, I don't think so. Blue Mesa. from Hawaii. <laughs> I don't know who drove that here. <laughs> so everyone who sees us, they stop and say, how did you get your car here from Hawaii? Everybody. And everybody, right? <laughs> and like, they take a picture of And then we've plate. had people take pictures of this license plate because it's from Hawaii. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know guys, it's a rental. We're from Minnesota. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, you guys. <laughs> I've never drove a sports car. Camaro, so we're gonna see how this is. You look cute in it. I do? Yep. <laughs> Brownie points. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright you guys, here we go. Do you know how to drive it? <laughs> drive? It's in sport mode. Well, <laughs> what's it going to be I guess? Hammer on it. No. Remember I drive like a grandma. It's 
a sports car. You can't drive it like a oh, grandma. Santa settings. <laughs> oh, all right, here we go, guys. Woo! <laughs> wow, you hit 3,000 RPM. <laughs> gonna put the top back up now because this is a good spot to do it because now we have some driving to do yes I know what's with the bees they love us <laughs> look at that sunset you guys pretty schnazzy <laughs> And then you guys, I have to show you this. So right behind us, there's a huge raven standing up here, squawking at us. Like, uh, he's been there the whole time we've been here. Just random stuff here in Arizona. So now we're wrapping up here at the Petrified Forest National Park. So stay tuned for my other vlogs, but this was a perfect first day on our trip, right hon? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> we're gonna go eat some dinner now. We'll have to see what's available in town for food. Starving. I know, we're hungry. Let's go. Good morning. We are still in Arizona. We are on our way to Colorado today to Mesa Verde. So last night we were gonna go have dinner um, after we were done at Petrified Forest. And we're in the Navajo Nation here, which is located in the northeastern section of Arizona. And everything shuts down at 3 p.m. Restaurants, grocery stores, gas stations, like everything except our hotel was shut down. So we didn't get to eat last night. So literally all we've ate was our breakfast at the Minneapolis airport yesterday morning. <laughs> and then we went to a grocery store and picked up some snacks um, right when we were in Phoenix after we got our car rental. So we're not eating until we get into Colorado. We have like a two and a half hour drive. So yeah. Right. Someone's very hungry. I'm doing all right, but <laughs> it was interesting. Interesting night. No dinner on our vacation here, which is we're we're good. <laughs> Woohoo! We made it to New Mexico. We're just driving through this little portion of New Mexico, and then we hit Colorado. But pretty cool. We've never been to New Mexico, and we're really not doing anything here except literally driving through the tiny little corner of it. So. Hello, New Mexico! <laughs> we literally drove one minute and we are in Colorado from New Mexico. <laughs> so Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado in one minute. Four Corners is closed, which is a bummer due to COVID, so we weren't able to stop there, but that's okay. So pretty cool. Hello, Colorado! We're in Cortez, Colorado, and we were gonna go to a little diner, a local diner here. It was closed, so we're at Denny's and that's where we're gonna eat breakfast. So we haven't ate for a long time, so we're so excited to eat. Ready, honey? Ready. <laughs> Hangry, that's what he is. Guys, look at the bananas with the chocolate chips. Cancels out all the calories. <laughs> nice. Pancakes coming, right, hon? Nice. Let's eat, oh my gosh. We made it to Mesa Verde National Park here in Colorado. And right behind us are some beautiful snow-capped mountains back there. So as we drove here, um, we got views of those mountains the whole way. It's so pretty. My Mesa Verde National Park vlog is separate from this vlog. I decided to separate out. Otherwise, this vlog would get way too long. So if you're interested in watching that vlog, link is in the bio below. Now we are just gonna fast forward to Page, Arizona. We are back in Arizona. We just crossed the border. We did all national parks in Utah, which was absolutely amazing. We just left Zion. It is Thanksgiving Day. And now we are in Page, Arizona for the night, but we are stopping at the Glen Canyon Dam, and it's right in front of me. Really cool dam. More adventures here in Arizona to come. Wow. And that is Lake Powell right there. How cool. Reminds us of going to the Hoover Dam when we were on our way to the Grand Canyon. We stopped at the Hoover Dam. Very similar, but the Hoover is a lot bigger. But this is cool. We found our Thanksgiving meal. Um, our hotel had a poster in the lobby area showing that there was Thanksgiving meals available here at this restaurant called Gone West here in Page. So we're gonna go have Thanksgiving meal. We weren't sure if we were gonna get it this year, but we are. Good morning, 
from Page, Arizona. So first thing we're doing right away this morning, two miles out of town, is Horseshoe Bend Overlook. It's just a short little hike. It's like 20 minutes each way, 0.6 miles, I believe. And um, it's $10 entrance fee. It is part of the National Park Service, but the annual pass is at Mark. You have to pay the $10. So we're going to go check it out. with Horseshoe Bend. Really scary walking up to the cliff area. I was trying to get some good photos, but we couldn't get like close enough to the edge because it's really scary. And there's people down there kayaking in the bend. That's crazy. So pretty cool to see it. Guys, we just got to Sedona here and it is absolute insanity. It's so busy and very touristy. Um, but we're gonna go walk around the downtown area and kind of check out the shops. We are not shoppers. When we travel, we don't go buy stuff. We don't, that's not our thing. We don't shop when we travel. But we said, we're here, let's go just walk around. We'll see, check it out. Probably walk past most of everything and keep going, but that's how we travel. Um, and then we're gonna go grab a little bite here, get some acai bowls. So yeah, so we're finally in Sedona. Got done from downtown and we are at the Sedona um, airport lookout area which is supposed to be perfect for sunsets and there's also different hiking trails around here so we're gonna go check it all out around here see some views of Sedona and hopefully catch the sunset trail has really pretty views of Sedona so if you're here definitely recommend the airport uh, lookout area it's pretty parking is three dollars um, but it's worth it it's a Sedona sunset all right we just left the airport area saw the sunset from the tarmac because <laughs> we didn't want to do the full trail and the sunset where it's supposed to be setting wasn't in that location because of the time of year, so we weren't have got a good spot anyway. So we're at sushi now. We're gonna go eat some sushi, one of our favorites. And that's our day in Sedona. Morning from Sedona. It is our last day on our trip here, and we are on our way to Phoenix today, but we're making a few stops, and her stop is one of the most popular. It's the Chapel of the Holy Cross. So, it's right in front of me. I'll put the camera around and show ya. There it is, the famous chapel. So normally you can go in there, but we're too early. Um, it doesn't open till nine o'clock, and it's like eight, and we're already on the road, so we're not going in, but pretty cool. Famous landmark here in Sedona. So just a heads up for anyone visiting Sedona. We have never seen such craziness with hiking uh, anywhere we've ever been. Um, it is 8.20 in the morning and parking lots are completely full. We were gonna do Cathedral Rock full, Bell Rock full. It's craziness. There's so, just tiny parking lots. Yeah, we got up early thinking, you know, we'll be early, we should be able to find a spot. Usually we always do. No, not in Sedona. <laughs> it's crazy here. So for all you hikers, Get ready for like early, early, early mornings if you want a parking spot. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we just got a wild hair. We said, adios, Sedona. You are too busy and too crazy for us. And we are gonna road trip down to Tucson and go to Saguaro National Park. That was not on our plans for this trip, but we were like, what are we gonna do today? It's our last day and we just don't wanna like hang out in Phoenix because we don't need to go shopping and doing that stuff. We aren't those type of people we rather be outside in nature. And there's another national park in Arizona, so it's only a three hour drive to get there and only an hour 20 to get back to Phoenix because we fly out tomorrow. So we're gonna go do it. There's a whole bunch of cactuses in this national park and we're so excited to go check it out. So we are on our way to Tucson right now to Saguaro National Park. All right, on our way to Tucson and along the highway here from Phoenix to Tucson, there was an area we could see from the highway that had tons and tons of planes. And I'm like, wow, there's a lot of planes there and we knew it wasn't an airport. This is a air park where all 747s have been retired and of course a lot of them have been stowed because of 2020 and of course the travel industry has taken a huge hit. But there's 
planes after planes and planes for miles all stored here in the middle of Arizona in the middle of nowhere <laughs> it's kind of crazy this is all American there's tons of Delta Spirit Air China I mean every plane you can think of is right here it's crazy and sunny we're gonna drop the top one last time before we leave it's gonna be beautiful going through the national park with the top down we made it to the national park we're here in tucson and look at all the cactus so we're gonna go enjoy this national park that was not on the list but we decided to make it on our list for the day last day here it's a beautiful day so really cool really excited to be here We are on a little nature trail and we are in the land of cacti. Wow, there's a lot of cactus. This is Sonoran Desert. The Sonoran Desert is what this is. And it is home to the largest and most cacti of all of the USA. So that's pretty cool. This is amazing. I've never seen so many cactus in my life. <laughs> Obviously, I'm from Minnesota. That's a thorny one. It's a good day to wear flip flops. Look at us. <laughs> Yikes, that is a mean looking tree bush cacti thing. My husband to keep his hands to himself. That's he's really trying <laughs> He wants to like touch all the cactus and just to see how sharp they are, but I'm like, don't do it. I still got cactus stuck on my finger from the other day. Yeah, he felt a cactus on one of our hikes the other day and he has like a piece of cactus stuck in his finger. And it had like little fuzzy prickles on it and it just like went right in. <laughs> I tell you what, you guys. <laughs> Cactuses, you guys, they're huge and they're everywhere. We walk out there to like get a photo with the cactus. It's like you have to be really careful. There's snakes and rattlers. I kind of want to see one from like far away just to say I've seen one, but I don't want to see one either because <laughs> my luck will like be right in front of me and it could be really bad. <laughs> You're gonna poke your butt. <laughs> All right, we're doing the loop drive right now. This is a loop drive that goes around the park and gives you some overlooks and different hiking trails. We're not gonna do a lot of hiking here, but just kind of seeing the sights, but the road is gravel. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's not too bad or dusty because we're driving slow, but <laughs> just crazy over how surrounded by cactus we are. <laughs> are you loving this? Yeah, this, is this is like so cool. Might be my favorite part of the trip. Did you hear that guys? This might be his favorite part of our whole trip. Better Mesa Verde. And he likes Mesa Verde. I love Zion. This is amazing. Mesa Verde is amazing. I don't know. We saw way too much on this trip to even know what my favorite is. But this, this is awesome. You guys gotta come here and see the largest cactuses in all of the USA. So amazing. Watch out, watch out so you don't get poked. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Just cactus for miles. So guess what? This park decided that we need cactus in our home. <laughs> We're so buying a cactus when we get home. These are so cool. And what do you call them, hon? They're gnarly. They're gnarly. <laughs> they are, they're really cool. It's like, I need a cactus now. Never had a cactus. I need it. We are gonna head into Tucson now once we finish the loop and get some Mexican food. It's like you're this close to Mexico and Tucson is like tons of Mexican restaurants. So, so we're gonna get Anita Magrita, some Mexican food. And yeah, it's a good last day here in Arizona. <laughs> The 
the best strawberry margarita I have ever had. It is so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be great. It'll be so cool. <laughs> I know. Wow. All right, you guys, we just finished that meal. It was so good. It was like amazing. Yeah, yeah you had to come all the way almost to the Mexico border, Tucson. <laughs> We're not quite to Mexico, but close, close enough for some so amazing, good. authentic Mexican. Highly recommend. So fun fact about this restaurant, didn't even know it when we came here. We just found it on the map and that looks great. <laughs> President Bill Clinton came here in 1999 and ate, and then also Man vs. Man food, versus guy food Guy yeah. was here at the same restaurant. I don't eat. know what he ate, I gotta find out. I know, I <laughs> but that was so cool. We're looking at the menu and seeing all these things, and I'm like, wow! I ordered what he ate. I it's like a little famous Mexican restaurant here in Tucson. So, so glad we came to Tucson today, and we did left Sedona and made our way down here. This national park was amazing. And now we have to head back to Phoenix because we have to fly out tomorrow, but this was awesome. It was a good day. Good way to end our trip with some authentic Mexican food. All right, you guys, and that is a wrap here on our Arizona travel vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit some really cool spots. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know and be sure to go hit up my other vlogs from Utah and Colorado. We hit four states and eight national parks in nine days you guys like that's crazy and this was like a trip busy. of a lifetime it was busy but it was so worth it that's how we travel fast pace we don't like to dilly dally so this is awesome so good job hon so be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future vlogs we'll see you guys in the next vlog bye, bye.